Hey guys, welcome back to your weekly installment of deliciousness. This time I'm going to show you how I make my signature masala cheese scones. Wait, scones or scones? Scones, scones. They're really yummy. I've been making these for as long as I can remember and it would be something that me and my mom would enjoy over a cup of chai at our old kitchen table while we looked through her old cookbooks trying to find new things to try and test and cook and those were just the best days ever and I miss them so much because we can't do any of that during lockdown but hey ho, we still have scones. I'm a bit of a purist, so I like to serve these just as they are, warm, maybe with a little bit of butter, but you can also just like spread a little bit of um, cream cheese or mango chutney in there, works really nicely. Um, it's up to you, just enjoy them, have them as breakfast. They're really good actually with a bowl of tomato soup as well, just for dinner or a light lunch. Tap the link in the description box for a full list of ingredients you need to make this recipe. For the lightest and flakiest scones, pop unsalted butter in the freezer for 30 minutes. Grate your butter on the coarse side of a cheese grater to ensure it combines with the flour quickly and easily. Work quickly or this is going to melt all over your hands. It's going to feel weird because it looks like cheese, but it's not. Tip some plain flour into a bowl. Some baking powder, baking soda, salt, and garam masala. I'm using a homemade blend, but you can use your favorite variety. I'll include a link to my homemade garam masala video in the description box below. Add the grated frozen butter. Swiftly rub the butter and flour mixture together to form a fine breadcrumb-like texture. Next, add some very finely chopped red onion, finely chopped chilies. You could use chili flakes here too some fresh coriander and grated cheese. I have a blend of mature cheddar and red Leicester. Give this a quick mix. Now pour in some cold full fat milk. Use your hands or a spoon to bring the mixture together and form a soft dough. You wanna be really gentle with this dough. Just work it so that it comes together, but don't knead it. Light and flaky scones require as little handling as possible. Now flour a clean surface. Now pat or roll the dough out to the thickness of about one and a half centimeters to two centimeters. Stamp out rounds using a cookie cutter. You could also just cut the scones into triangles using a sharp knife. Pick up any scraps of dough and bring them back together to cut out more rounds. Remember to handle the dough quickly and with a light touch. Cracks on the surface are fine. Scones should be rustic looking. Place the scones on a large baking tray lined with baking parchment. Leave a small gap around each one as they will rise a bit. Now pop these in the fridge for about 5 minutes while you make your mustard wash. In a small bowl mix together English mustard powder and warm milk. Stir until it's no longer lumpy. Not only does this mustard wash give the scones another dimension of warmth, it also turns the tops beautifully golden brown. Now brush the scones all over with your mustard wash. Before baking, I like to sprinkle my scones with a mixture of kalonji and nigella seeds and white sesame seeds. Alternatively, you can use sunflower seeds, poppy seeds, cumin seeds, or even more cheese, which is never a bad idea. Bake the scones in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 degrees Fahrenheit, for 20 to 22 minutes. Allow them to cool for around 15 to 20 minutes before eating. Never underestimate the power of a masala cheese scone and a mug of hot tea. This casual comfort combo is my go-to for when I need a dose of nostalgia. 
guess what? I upload new and delicious vegetarian and vegan recipes every week. Subscribe to my channel and tap that bell icon to make sure you see them fresh from my kitchen to yours.